Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I'm still scuffed, still in the Dakotas, and I'm trying to actually make it so my mic is less echoey by just piling up styrofoam around it. Well, it's not styrofoam, it's foam that I have with me, but it's, uh, it's scuffed. It's super scuffed. It's also, my mic is near my, what do you call it, my microphone. So you could probably hear it clicking here. Maybe I'll I'll have to use the controller for this. It's not so clicky. So what did we get? Oh, biotic students from Grissom Academy have joined the 103rd Marine Division as support. Good. First Lieutenant Kaylee Sanders joins Grissom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She's a systems technician studying synthetic intelligence. Ooh, some other more technically minded students. I thought it said cerebrally minded, and I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, they've met up with Sanders, contributing their brain power. David Archer, despite his youth, Archer's theories on interstellar cross modulation have won in respect. So, this is the thing is, Archer's supposed to be, David's supposed to be really young, but he looks older. And even in the DLC, he didn't look young. Like, this game can only do, like, adults who are in, like, their mid-30s looking, um, or children. And that's it. <laughs> there's, like, no in-between. There's no teens. There's no 20s. Nothing. What else? Jack. After Hellboy Shepard destroy the collectors. Yep, yep, yep. So that was the thing also, so I don't know, they're, they're, like, they're like, they're like, they get Jack, for, for one thing, bringing Jack in to teach biotics is a, like a wild decision, like, I don't know who decided that, but like, I mean, giving, giving her something to care about besides like herself and survival is, is good, but like, I don't know what, she would have done it on a whim, I think, just like, oh sure, why not, I got nothing else to do, you know, but like, who offered it? For one thing, she does not does not seem like a teacherly sort. For another thing, they're like the only thing they needed her to change was that she doesn't swear as much, but she can walk around with more skin than clothes, and and saying like really crass things. And the students repeat it, and they're like, she's Kaylee Sanders just looks on fondly, like, oh yes. It's like what is wrong? I I I think it's great, but like what in what incarnation? Yes, Commander. Oh, do we have... Shoot, I just realized. I hope... I don't think that was a thing. Anyway, sorry. I think there was some feedback a little bit, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. <clears throat> That's all. I of course, am Commander. so buff. I forgot for a second how buff I am. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm so excited, actually. Finally, I look like I've achieved my true form. All that's sitting around and waiting. You see the feed from Palavin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. The birds, we won't have none of that talk in this ship. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Anyway, I can't, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, all that's sitting around and waiting in, uh... For the last like three or six months or however long I've been under house arrest, I've just been lifting weights the whole time. Just eat protein, lifting weights. I still run like an idiot. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kits gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the academy. That's true. And that must have been like Christmas. For true, me. true. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. People get... I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual... <laughs> I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. True. <laughs> I mean, he says all the true things. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. It is. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. 
Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. That does not surprise me at all. Well, I mean, I'm looking at this game and I'm like, it's so pretty, but like, I, it's the same like frame rate for me. I'm just really glad that you guys get to see it in 60 frames now and pretty early on in this <laughs> in the game i'm thinking about horizon zero or horizon forbidden west i just literally uploaded like part 100 like two days ago oh boy come up okay oh from kaylee from forwarded from hackett while my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help with Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too and watching them work. It's the future command of this project will inform human progress for generations, and they'll have you to thank for it. Well, I'm glad she's thinking positively that there we that we do have a future. Do we, you have anything? I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. Perfect. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't. That's right. That's right. That was her. Nice work. I forgot. Thanks, Commander. I forgot. Should I? Should I go talk to people? Also, I forgot to level people up, I think, also. Oh, I can level myself up. What do I want? I want to I wanna do Nova all the way. We'll save up for Nova. Let's... Like I said, I it's been... Hmm, it has been uh, two months since I've opened the game. Wow. The last time I opened it was exactly two months ago in October. Well, almost exactly two months ago in October. So forgive me <laughs> if I'm haphazard as per usual. That is the problem with me being uh, all over the place. Is that I cannot be consistent in playing. I can be kind of consistent uploading. Um, only if I work really, really hard at it. <laughs> uh, and But... I am not going to be consistent playing wise, so it's going to be like me relearning every single freaking time. At least it feels like it to me. I love that this Idadel one moves. Looks very good. There you are, little stinker. I don't have any of the cool stuff I picked up. I'm going to keep the armor I have on. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm. If making sure everything's good, let's run, try to talk to somebody. Actually, we might. Chakwas. Have I welcomed Chakwas back? I don't know if I have. Liara doesn't usually walk around, and neither does Chakwas, but everybody else does. Well, besides Joker. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. I think he's gotten used to them for sure. And prefers, like, not even just used to them, but, like, does like them. They look good on him. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. I, for, I, was, I couldn't remember, but I was pretty sure if we ran through and talked, at least after big missions like that, people will have something to say. I don't know. There is new information on the oh. private messages terminal. This one? Oh no, the other one. No. This one. Hi, Liara. Um. David, you won't get this. Oh, for from Kaylee to David Anderson. Made it out of this weapon they're building. This is, that's not secure. She shouldn't even be talking about it on in unsecured channels. Take care for my sake. Um, 
So Jack, hey Sanders, checking on the kids. Sanders, how are they, Jack? They'll do good. This is going to be long. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Dang, one of the L3X1s, you know how much I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. And look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. <laughs> Between Kasumi and Professor S. Olawson. Kasumi, hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Olawson, do you have any information on its whereabouts? I've got something better. Check your front door. Ah, but this server's locked in, in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Professor. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus just leaves laying around in the open. It's true, they do. That's how I fund half my war effort. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic oh, children. Oh, yeah. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. That's right. All of us are biotic. I don't even think there's like a there's like there's like an exception story, you know. It's just how they are now. Something about the way there was a lot of Ezo in the environment growing up, for, like on their planet, and now it's just hardwired into them. I don't think oops, I auto save thing. Track let me run down and check with everybody. Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out. Inside the battle space. This is one of the reasons I didn't water on my ship is because, and I remember now, like fully, that she, like I get that you need to maintain like a calm exterior even when you're reporting terrible things, but when you, like most reporters will at least try to put some life into their words, she literally, whoever is voice acting her is just reading lines off a prompt with no inflection whatsoever. She's like, millions of people, dead. Find out more on the battle space. You know? Like, it's she's so bad. Like, I'm sorry. Like, the character is bad. The voice actress was directed, at least poorly. Like, you know, maybe it's not her fault. But good night. Find out more on the battle space. Like, usually it's like, find out more, you know? Even if it's like an un... Almost, um unnecessary like amount of hype maybe for something terrible but you can still sound like there's like the fake reporter voices where they're, they, they're like fake sad or like you know semi hype you know like there's, there's still stuff you can do but like, it's just she talks about the most and I think it actually comes up later in the in the game where you can be like you just report these things like so straight face and she's like you have to blah 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 I'm like yeah well not like that nothing to report commander good good I keep wanting to like go. I'm like, Grunt's over here. Nope. My boy. My son. Was living his best life, I hope. Where's. Where's Steve? Where? Oh, is he fixing the shuttle? Sometimes he's fixing the shuttle. Oh, there he is. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Scanning up his back. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. Ah. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. 
I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me! Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? That, you can't. That's my boy! I am the captain now. Oh, well, I guess I'm the commander. That Jack is a mean SOB, <laughs> but kind of hot. If you like that. She part. would tear you apart. I, I guarantee it. I actually don't know of anybody who'd be a match for Jack, honestly. Can you hear that? Sorry, in the background. It's the sound of snow plows going every 30 minutes because there's literally two feet of snow outside. It's not stopping. It's just gonna, I'm like, I'm like measuring it on my car, like for like, I'm kind of eyeballing it, but like I haven't gone out to my car. I haven't moved it in like two or three days. And I'm watching how much snow kind of piles up around it compared to like the tires. And there's about two feet of snow outside. <laughs> I'm like, yikes. Anyway, that should be... Oh, sorry, that was not the right... That was not the correct place. Let's figure out where we're gonna go. See, there's, like, tips on, like, the loading screens. Or the loading screens are so fast now. So, we did that. Oh, boy. What, what do I have them... I think I have them ordered in what order I got them. Sir Cash. Right. Let's do these two first. I just don't want to get overwhelmed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We have the Biotic Amp interface now. That's DLC. I know that. I don't want to do that. That's Leviathan. I don't want to do that yet. Let's just do some fetch quests really quick. I don't know if Eden Primes is a fetch quest. I think you can actually... No, you can actually land. Let's go to Eden Prime really quick. Where, where was it? Where was it? Nah. I'm pretty sure you can land. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's like right after Sir Kesh? Oh, well, we're gonna do it anyway. Where? You gotta t Usually it's like, oh, here it is. I guess I'll find it on the map? I don't know. It usually tells me, like, the system and the cluster. Is there anything? Did I already spend so long? I don't know if there's anything to scan. Doesn't seem like it. Um, where's Eden Prime? Is Eden Prime in the Prothean cluster, recover Prothean artifact? I don't actually know. <laughs> there's a more efficient way to do this that I've just simply forgot. There, okay, here we go. Yay. Let's see. I found something. Zion, that's right. The, the cluster, the system is named Utopia, and then you have Zion, Eden, and there's a couple others that are like Utopian stuff. It's the only guess, Giant. Asphodel, that's like that's the Greek for heroes. That's the Greek afterlife for heroes. I know that because I'm super excited for Hades to no. <laughs> I have played I've done a lot of uh Hades 1 and uh, I don't know if you guys saw What did I get? Further data files. Yay. Uh but I I'm super mega excited for Hades 2. I didn't think, because Supergiant games have not done um, sequels before. They've had they three other games, Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre. 
and they have never done a sequel to any of those. So, but I was like, oh, I mean, Hades was super successful, but I was like, it'd be cool to have more Hades, but like, I figured we'd get something else, something new, and I was like, I'm super excited for whatever it is. I love everything they've ever made. And, uh, and then they're like, Hades too, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> like, I was surprised that I was like, I can't be mad, especially given the new cast of characters that let us get a sneak peek on. Holy moly! And those games are hands down the most beautiful games ever created. Golly. Nirvana, that's, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Commandeered for the war. I just want to read like war updates on all of them. Xanadu, yep, okay. Lacks little resources. Arcadia. So all these other planets suck. Nobody like the nobody likes the rest of them, but Eden Prime was like the one. It was attacked, yeah, 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 we remember that. The Reapers rushed past much of the Exodus Cluster and their plan to take Earth. It's clear wars come to Eden Prime. Fires, twisted metal, Cerberus has much to lose if word of their room What oh That's right! This was uh this was Cerberus attacking Eden Prime, not the Reapers. What they stand, they have much to lose if Ward gets out of the ruthless attack. Not really. Like, they don't have much to lose at all. Although, maybe it's whatever little standing they had is like, we're for humanity when they're out here, like, destroying humans. Is like, uh, it's like, no, I think, uh, I think, I think some rewirings happened. Let's, let's put it that way. Some rewirings gone on. Who do I want to bring? Do I have to bring the Earth? I think I have to. I don't remember why. If not, I don't mind. She's got singularity. It's one of my favorite abilities. Frigging, I don't know. Some tar for me. I did get the eviscerator. They're all negligible. And I have the katana three upgraded. Or the katana upgraded to three. Machine gun. Nope, not like that. Increases accuracy, sure. Great Terrain Rebel, Health and Shields. I think I'm actually gonna do Health and Shields. I really need him to stay alive. Mm, we'll give her warp. It's it's a it's a useful uh I guess, workhorse of biotic abilities. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Wild! Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. <laughs> you and pure. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. 
And you're always good at helping me find them. Heck yeah, buddy! Cerberus Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. As per usual. They did that in Mass Effect 1, everybody near it. Well, Geth killed everyone near the dig site. I just wouldn't do dig sites on Eden Prime, honestly. I'd be like, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm out. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. I'm glad the mod works with my armor. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're they here. They already know I'm here, guaranteed. How could you not? Look at me. I'm gorgeous. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Ooh, it was so weird to come back to Eden Prime. It was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sarah. It can survive there. It's true. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. See, I love the friggin' like she almost never talks about her past, and this is just like she was a she was an orphan on Earth in a city. Had a rough life until she enlisted in the Alliance, you know? But it's so it's so cool to, and it's so odd too, like to be able to come back full circle to like your first mission in Mass Effect one that started everything, right? That led us to Liara, that led us to Garrus. Like Garrus was trying he was reading the reports, trying to get info on Saren trying to help us out without even knowing that he was helping us out. We've taken the more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhood. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, yeah. this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Good. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech right. sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... Uh, what are humans? <laughs> a dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils uh -huh. would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts yeah. left by sapien species. Preach! The two fields are completely different, Preach. and... Oh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> I do remember hearing that one. I, I know I think I picked this out for her, but I really, really like it. It looks very, very nice. It must be a DLC. Or is it like, I don't know, I have no idea, I actually don't recognize this at all, but it's really, really nice. Looks very good on her. Let's go squad. The amount of times I legitimately get asked, um, so are you dig up dinosaurs? And I'm like, no, I don't. But it's fine. Like, it's harmless questions, right? I just feel bad. I also do try to learn a little bit more about dinosaurs. There, that's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Bad people are like, so tell me about dinosaurs, and I'm like, uh, I don't know anything about dinosaurs, <laughs> but I can tell you about subsistence patterns, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I try to learn a little bit about dinosaurs. Goddess, that doesn't seem. And they possible. are cool. I would love to find it's one. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's a Prothean. Like the collectors. Or the oh shoot! That's that right. Island. Like the bodies forgot. we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. I forgot! That doesn't sound possible. <sighs> you saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. 
Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. I, now I remember specifically it being like, oh, we get to go back to Eden Prime, but like, it's only to pick up this Prothean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got I bamboozled myself. Everybody in the comments who played is probably like, what the? Or not even in the comments, just like in your head. You're like, come on, don't you remember? To be fair, please remember I've only played this once and it was like seven years ago. <laughs> so I am only going to vaguely recall things until they happen and then be like, oh yeah. <laughs> what can you tell me about Happy the, days. the people, not the technology? Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. That's one way to look at it. The other way is that they were uplifting species and basically colonizing, <laughs> which is kind of how um, the uplift of the Krogan went, you know? It was like, oh yeah, we want everyone to cooperate, also build our empire, you know what I mean? Be the soldiers and the, like, worker people, you know? So even, at, even when I first played this, I was like, oh, that's one way to interpret that, Dana Liara. Sorry. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. This is why we are as required. <laughs> I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life uh -huh. pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Also, uh, they aren't just gonna let us have it. Yeah. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna call this one here before we get caught up in a big fight. Hopefully it's not too short. But, yeah! <laughs> Bamboozle. Can't remember anything past my own name. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Miss Kalita, my staff link tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. I hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you so, so much for your support. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.